care, Erica. Looks a little better there. Looks good where that left starting to open, right starting to pick up wide. That's the thing, I get that right knee long, a little bit longer, no bend in that right leg. Left arm, I think, could come down a little bit. But as this starts to come in past the left knee, see how you're starting to bend that right knee. Keep that right leg long so it sweeps to the center. You, bring, you can even see here, you got to keep that, that knee long, keep that foot longer. You get more rotational force out of the right leg. Comes down faster right here. And as soon as that starts to pass, as soon as that sweeps here, try and feel connection in that groin so that, that pulls off, that, that left pulls off sooner. You're a little late coming off. Then you want to hold that left arm right here. Hold that left back, hold that left back. Left foot grounds. Sooner it gets a little too deep here. Keep that right heel up. So your right's not rotating at all. That right knee should be rotating forward here. And keep that right elbow out. While you're holding the ground. So you even hear the shot's still in your hand, but you're you're up off the ground. You gotta hold the ground there. So it's pretty, you know, pretty raw you get, but you're moving really well. And I think right here, if you can fix that right leg, don't let it bend here. Keep that longer. It'll sweep down. It's going to be big, and then get off that left a little bit faster. Hold the left arm back. Let the right knee rotate in. Keep that right elbow up and hold the ground better on the finish. And what I would do is I'd pick two of those cues to work on per week.